Interesting. So this Kiyomi was summoned into the much honor. Susano. That's right, they believe their gods were Kami reside in physical objects. Given the danger they represent, it may behoove us to begin a catalog of such relics. But if we are to contain the threat, we will require a better understanding of the summoning method itself. I believe I shall pay a visit to Doma and learn what I can, can on the subject. A fine idea, and I know for a fact that our friends in Doma would be grateful for any information which could help to perver prevent further summoning in the region. I'll pen you a letter of introduction. Lord Hian will wish to welcome our resident expert on etherology. Greetings. Could it be that I'm in time for tea? It certainly looks that way. Come on, sit down, and tell us how your investigations went. After you left, I went about questioning Bloodhouse gravekeepers. They all told much the same story once Lise and her officers had confirmed Zeno's dead. His corpse was interred under strict supervision. There seems little reason to doubt their testimony on that point, but when I mentioned the defacement of Zeno's grave, the accounts grew rather more vague. None reported having seen any suspicious persons in the vicinity, and all assumed the act to have been perpetrated by a vengeful Alamegan. Huh. Crucially, however, I was able to confirm that when the offending scrawl was removed, as per Lee's instruction, no one involved thought to check the contents of the coffin. By that stage, tis like that the corpse was already gone. Assuming Xenos was not, in fact, risen from the dead, we are left with two possibilities. Either the body was disposed of to lend credence to the claims of an extremely committed imposter, or an assing has taken up residence within it. I saw he was as fervent a devotee as you would believe, he would not have been fooled by an impersonation. However committed. We must assume that we are dealing with an Asian and proceed okay, Agreed. The question is how many more such monsters are waiting for Alpino and Garlemal? Presence was his chief reason for going. He understood the risk. I only hope he did not underestimate the extent of the infestation. Okay, here we go. Cutscenes. We are making good speed towards our desperation is ah, a mess. Nay, it is just I can see not from my cabin. I was curious to know the land over which we flew. Ah, I'm afraid our military craft are built with little thought of such niceties. I am happy to indulge your curiosity, however. We are presently passing over the burn on the western edge of Authord. Even though even with the benefit of a porthole, your gaze would have been greeted with not but moms upon moms of lifeless earth. I have read something of the burn. It was described as a desolate wasteland, blood drive, every last drop of ether. I is believed that a succession of icon summoners were responsible. When Emperor Solus first came to author, he beheld this blight. He is said to have reeled at the scale of the devastation. He declared icons a threat to our very star's existence and issued an empire wide decree ordering the eradication of all such entities. Report. Order attack, sir. Magitek armor. No visible degeneration. Magitek. What the heck? All cannons return fire. Damage report. Main reactor's been hit. Helm round responsive. We're going down, sir. Huh. They knew where to hit us. But have you 
back master off of them. We have landed in one piece, more or less. But the air filtration system is damaged and the ship is filling with smoke. We must gather the survivors and get out while we still can. Hi, hi. Duty calls. Proceed. Oh, I'm in a group. Okay. So I'll just skip it. <laughs> Let's just do it again. Let's watch it again. I'll just skip it real quick. And then it'll bring me to this. Whoops. I didn't realize I was going to have one of those, otherwise it would have left. Proceed. There we go. There we go. <laughs> I wanted oh, to watch it again. Whoa! What? Look at me. Search for survivors. His leg is caught. This was unexpected. For this duty, you will play as Alpha No. Alpha Nod. I have to heal him. Now I pick him up. Get up. Look at this place. He very likely saved his life. The question of who would try to take its remains, however. Oh no. Ah! Okay. Excuse me. Yo, I'm so strong as Alpha No. You're so strong? <laughs> Alpha Nod. Oh, Too dude. strong. Alpha No. You do kind of slap, though. Yeah, he's hitting hard. Or these things are just weak. Oh, uh, please get off of me. Gotta stand in the carbuncle aura. Shining Moonstone. What does it do? Oh, it just makes me do more damage. Interesting. We did it. Well, that was interesting. That was a heavy fall. Confound it, not here, not like this. What the heck? name. Enemies of our enemies, introductions can wait. Huh. I had a good shot though. Thank you. 
I missed that thing? Because that seemed to be pretty good. I was accidentally casting my heal. Whoops. I just kept spamming it. He was pretty good. I need to do damage. Be alone. Menacing Mercy. Oh, was it was What the heck? Oh no. The hostile sky armor. Get off of him. Use your LP. Oh my god, it's got a big AoE. Medicine first. I like his sword. The sword is huge. Thanks for your intervention. Proved most timely. Puffin was so small. Well, well, I did not think to meet an Eorzean in this place, let alone a Scion. You know of me, sir? I have some small history with your order. But I would speak of the present. N know you, your assailants, the severity of your predicament. The soldiers bore the insignia of the Emperor's personal guard, and I could venture a guess as to their motive, but you yet have us at a disadvantage, sir. Will you not tell us who you are? Our names are not yours for the asking, as for our purpose, let this be your answer. An Asian mask. The face of our prey. Ooh. We must away before more arrive. Come with us or stay, but make your choice now. Even should we manage the long trek out of the burn and secure passage to the capital, we would no doubt be greeted by the Emperor's guard. Yikes. We accept your gracious offer. <laughs> Shadow Hunter will suffice for the present. Huh. Shadow Hunter. A little bit edgy. Just a tinge. Oh wow. It's a lot of masks.
This is intolerable, but as much as I wish it were otherwise, there is nothing we can do for Alcano but now but pray for his success. Well, that is not entirely true. While your brother journeys to Garlemald from the east, I could make my way there from Alamigo and find out what there is to be learned in the Empire's western provinces. And then I'm coming with you. I can't very well sit here sipping tea if there's action to be taken. Forgive me, Alice, but the provinces are hostile territory and stealth is all important. It is safer that I go alone. I can sneak well enough when the situation demands it. Don't patronize me. We should leave this to Thancred. Not you two. I understand your frustration, Alice, but Sab Sabric has the right of it, and we must defer to Thancred's ex expertise in this matter. Fine. Just promise you'll be careful. Thank he's always careful. The most careful. It seems that praying is to be the extent of my contribution after all, but I will still stay behind as I have been bid. We all have our talents, mine just happened to involve a silver tongue and soft souls. I promise to send word the moment I learn aught of consequence. See that you notify me too? I mean to depart for Doma as soon as I find a suitable East Aldenard vessel to bear me thither, but I shall return if I am needed. Be sure to drop in whenever you're next in the area, Sabric. With any luck, I'll have a painfully detailed report from Alphano to share. I look forward to it. I got the pond or emote. Hmm. You have learned the emote ponder. Take a look at it. Splash. My character doesn't look like he's very deep in thought. Oh, I guess it's just the little eyebrow. <laughs> Interesting. 